over here is the model IRD811D which is a vibration meter and a bearing health checker. Inside the box you get the meter, you get two spare cables, you get the accelerometer, a stinger 9 inch, a magnetic mount and two 9 volt batteries and an operation manual CD. So here you can see the meter, here you can see the meter, very simple to use, compact and very intuitive. There is only three switches that you have to operate. The first switch is for switching on the instrument. The second switch is for selecting your range. You can select between 0 to 20, 0 to 200 and 0 to 2000. The third switch is for selecting the modes. Spike energy, acceleration, velocity and displacement. So let us power on the instrument and connect up the sensors and then see how do we use the instrument. As you can see I have the motor demo. I have connected the sensor and put it on a bearing of the motor. I have used the magnetic mount and the sensor has a standard MIL 2 pin connector. On the other end at the instrument you have the D type 9 pin connector. So now I switch on my instrument. What I need to be careful always is that when I take out the sensor I first disconnect the connector. Ok. So here I have my vibration readings. I am currently in acceleration mode which is giving me the acceleration value in 0 to peak and my range is selected as 0 to 20. Since the vibrations are very less, this range is perfect. I can switch to velocity very easily and know the corresponding velocity value which is mm per second 0 to peak. So as we can see, it is somewhere around 2.6 to 2.7 mm per second. And the third mode is displacement which is in microns and this is in peak to peak. So as we can see the displacement values are very less. They are only 0 0.04 microns. So very very less. No vibration at all. So our motor demo is behaving nicely. If I switch to spike energy GSE which is a trademark of IRD then you will see the acceleration values at very high frequencies what this does is within the circuitry there is a filter which is applied and that filter filters out the very low frequencies and looks only at the high frequencies and it is at the high frequencies only that you get to know your bearing defects and your gear mesh frequencies. This instrument on the back has a cover for its batteries. It runs on two 9 volt batteries. It is quite easy to use in the hand. Supplied with two cables and a very rugged choice. That's, it. That's about IRD811D. Thank you.